you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden opening video, guys. And today, I'm be going over the best way to build a no money spend team. So I've made about, I think, two of these on the channel so far. One was like the first day of Madden. One was like the second week of Madden. And now we're like in the third or fourth week. So a lot more free players. So the way you like to do these are, I go over all the free possibilities you can have in the game right now. And potentially what your team could look like. For a lot of people who don't think no money spends possible, this video is meant for you. Because you can see that you could clearly have a very useful team while building a coin stack. While being able to compete online, all for free. Which is very useful because not a lot of people take advantage of solos. They're like, oh, I don't really care about that one free player. But there's plenty. I believe there's like a quarterback, an end, two superstar players, and so on. So I'm not even going to go into it because that's for the video. So I'll save that. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Smack the sub button. It'll mean a lot to me if we can hit 7k within the next two days. Also... If you could so kindly turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, also, could we get 250 likes on this video? If you do, that'd be greatly appreciated. Like I always say, if you're a loyal sub and you already watched the videos, it won't hurt you to drop a like. It'll mean a lot to me and it helps me a lot more than you guys know as far as my videos and doing well on YouTube. Now, comment down below if I miss anything because I always love feedback. If I miss any players that are part of the no money spent and I will definitely update this video in a week or two if I miss too many things, but I don't think I'm going to miss much or if anything because I think I got this down packed. So, starting off real quick if you're new to the game, but I'm going to speed through that because I've made plenty of videos on that. So, first thing you want to do if you're new to the game for no money spent team, you're going to want to come over to NFL Epics. Get your 120 stars. The 120 stars gets you Baker Mayfield, Deacon Jones. That's all you got to do. 120 stars is pretty self-explanatory. Always check milestones, which is within the solo challenge to know what you got to do. So, right there at the left end of the quarterback. Then play Mutt Superstars. Best Mutt Superstars to take, either Juju Smith-Schuster or... Uh, Damn. Marshall Lattimore. Marshall Lattimore and Juju Smith. I'm assuming people are going to take Lattimore because he has like an 87 speed. So as of now, you have a quarterback, a right end, and a cornerback. Next thing you want to do is come on over to Journey. Play the Journey. That's Michael Thomas, 88, if you finish it. So you have Michael Thomas, which is a wide receiver, a cornerback, a quarterback, and a right end. So you have a probably, I'd say about maybe a quarter to one fifth of your team complete right there already. Now, next thing you want to do is come on over to theme diamonds you want to play these theme diamond solos because as you guys see milestones you get a knack gold a knack gold a knack gold three knack golds i mean a core elite an 84 plus a knack gold knack gold so that gives you two one definite elite one definite 84 plus could be a full legend or anything a total of three four five six seven seven gold cards which could be elite because i have pulled i pulled my deandre hopkins 88 out of one of these knack gold packs and I pulled Brandon Williams too, which is not good. But DeAndre Hopkins is still starting on my team to this day. So just letting you guys know, it is very useful to do these. So right here, you already have two more elites. So you have two elite positions. You have a right end, a cornerback, a quarterback, and potentially a wide receiver. Well, you definitely have a wide receiver from Michael Thomas, or even two. Now, these also give you coins, and they also boost up your Mutt Master, which is very important. Now next, you could play the Legend Solos for power-ups. You get the power-ups of the Legend. You could either sell them for coins, or you can power up the cards. I recommend doing the Lawrence Taylor one, getting him powering him up to an 88 outside linebacker. And there you go. You got a linebacker for pretty cheap just by getting the free power up and then getting some training, which you get for actually getting the game. You got a quarterback, a cornerback, a right end, a wide receiver, and two free elites and some golds. Now, guys, that pretty much fills out the golds and everything should fill out the majority of your team already, plus the elites. Unless you like, of course, you get repeats. Next, you guys got all that done. Next thing you want to do is always check the objective list. So for objective list, you're going to want to come down to series progression. The first thing you want to be doing on top of all those is finishing, I'm sorry, Mutt level. Mutt level. You want to finish levels 1 through 50. Levels 1 through 50, as I've reiterated multiple times, is it is a free about, I'd say about a million coins. Because you get the full legend pack, which obviously costs a little bit of money, but you get the full legend pack. You get the dollar to two dollar packs that gives you platinum cards. You should always take the platinum cards, remember that. So you have the full legend, platinum quick sell cards, you have regular coin quick sells, you have free gridiron packs, free gold player packs. You get a bunch of free stuff. Altogether, you probably get somewhere between 500 to a million coins, depending on what you pull out of all those packs. So that alone's good. Then you get an 87 to 88 overall power pass, which could be a free Khalil Mack, Von Miller, DeAndre Hopkins, Bobby Wagner, um, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, and Pat Mahomes. I'm probably missing someone, but those are the main ones right there. So now you're rocking with a wide receiver, a quarterback, a cornerback, a right end, 
two free base elites, a, a, another wide receiver you take Juju Smith Schuster. You have an 87 88 overall player. You have the two base elites, obviously. You have the 85 to 86 power passes that you got like three of them. So there's two more 86s. Right there, you have a whole team. And you also have the 80, uh, 82 to 84s and the 80 to 80s or whatever. The 80 to 82s, I believe, or 80 to 81s. So right there, you literally have like five power pass elites to seven power pass elites. You have like six free players. You got the packs that you can pull things out of. You got coins now. You got close to 500 to a million coins. So right there, you have a whole team that's competable. Right there, or competitive, I should say. Next, because we're not done. We got the house rules, which isn't in there right now. House rules, again, so far has given us two free players. So house rules alone has given us two free players. The first week of house rules was a free Mutt Superstar player, which you might probably missed already. But if you didn't, that's another player you could have. I got out of my free house rules player. I got Stefan Gilmore, which is probably the best cornerback in the game right now. So there you go. Mutt Superstars are so, like the, part of the top 10 players in the game right now. So you have a top 10 player. Not to mention, this week's house rules was a free basically card from any team of the Diamond set. So I, the best options for me were Von Miller, Pat Mahomes, Jalen Ramsey. I took Jalen Ramsey. So if you, let's say you assume you take Jalen Ramsey, you have two elite, two elite cornerbacks. You have a right end. If you get Gilmore, you have three elite cornerbacks. You can get Odell Beckham Jr. You can get D-Law. You can get Luke Keekley, Pat Mahomes. There's so many guys you could possibly get. So right there, you got your defense pretty stacked at this point. Assuming you can use the power pass from Earl Thomas for the 85 to 86. You have a whole stack team already. Now, you also could play these challenges here, which I did not forget about. I just was waiting for this part here. The Mutt Superstars. Milestones get to 145. For getting to 145, you get tier one, which is a free 84 to 85 net pack. So that's already one. That's an 84 to 85 player that comes with abilities. Philip Lindsay is a great running back to take out of there. Now, you also got the 89 to 90 superstar pack. So I'd recommend you wait for that pack in case you get Todd Gurley so you don't take Lindsay from the first one. But you get a free 89 to 90, plus house rules, another free 89 to 90, plus house rules again, another free 87. So that's an 89 or a 90 twice, an 87, an 84 to 85. That's like three stud players, plus all the free players you get from the solo challenges, plus all the coins you have. So you probably have close to a million coins at this point with a whole team. So it's very rare and mad that you've been able to build the whole team without spending a single dollar. Obviously, you have to buy the Legend Pack, but if you opt to not buy those packs, you're going to have a lot less coins, but it's definitely worth it. Let's say grand total, if you want to buy that, if you don't buy those packs, you'll probably end up with like 300k instead of close to a million coins, but it's okay. 300k plus all those players without spending a dollar without spending a single dollar besides buying the game obviously that is the best state that we've ever had madden in when it comes to being a no money spent player it just takes some grinding now as we keep going there's still more stars to be earned you can obviously get 277 78s if you get enough of these you could probably do the set now next comes weekend league and solo battles those are obviously optional i don't think they're optional i think you should always do them in my personal opinion the solo battles or headset season mud squads and weekend league i personally my favorite out of all of them is weekend league for the weekends obviously and headset season during the week Solo battles is more of the non-competitive one. But again, if you have time during the week, you truthfully don't do much or you know, you're know you younger, you don't have a job or anything. Solo battles is what I would alternate with weekend league. Solo battles alone can get you over about 200K. If you're not even top 100, you're just an ultimate, which is extremely easy. All you gotta do is really win the games. If you just win most of the games, I think you can lose like a one or two. You place the top rank minus top 100. So you can easily get, as you guys can see in solo battles here. Okay, I like how I always get 25 coins for not playing it. Let's go into the rewards. If you, oh God course took me out so you guys can see these rewards here you easily get this on top of everything just by playing them you get for my rank legend here which is very easy you get 44,000 coins two midfield packs two red zone packs you get entered for weekend league and 60 trophies so if you sell all the packs though you get the quick sells that's like 50k plus 20k just about so that's like 70k plus the 44k 120,000 coins you get about 120,000 coins just from playing weekend uh, solo battles plus trophies which you can use towards a nat von miller which is another nat play you could have so assuming you take the Nat Von Miller, which is in store under competitive currency, you now have the Von Miller. And then there's Weekend League. And obviously, I, I don't think I showed you guys Weekend League rewards just yet. I did place top 100 last week, but obviously those don't really count towards what you're going to get every time. Let's see if I can check out. Okay, so for Weekend League, if you place, I believe around here, you get a decent amount of coins and packs. If you place here, you get a much better rewards. But if you place Legend, let's assume you get 18 wins. Or let's just assume the average player can get like 10 wins. 10 wins is still like 50k coins plus like a pack or so. Legend, you get about, I believe, 120,000 worth of quick sells, and then you get one red zone and I think one touchdown. So let's assume that is right. I might be a little wrong on that, but let's assume you're getting 200,000 plus coins from Weekend League if you place Legend. You're getting 120,000 coins from Solo Battle, so that's already like 340K. If you took all the packs from leveling up, that's already well over a million coins. Plus, you get free players. And I believe in this, you can get an 80, you can get 84 plus uh, elites too, if you place high enough. 
the, like, there's just the sky's the limit for no money spent teams this, uh, this year, boys. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys take advantage of no money spent this year. You guys really don't want to spend a dollar. Last year, I went no money spent. I went that whole year no money spent. If you guys watched me last year when I first started YouTube, I had a 97 overall team, no money spent, just grinding the game. I was always a little bit behind. I never had like the best team. I was always close, but no money spent takes a little more grinding. So I'm always slightly behind the players who have the coins sitting there. But guys, no money spent just, it could be the move this year. Obviously, I didn't do it because I wanted to show packs on the channel and, you know, show some videos the first week. But I highly recommend if you guys kept on track with all that, you have two free superstar players, million coins. You got a bunch of free elites, a bunch of free elites. You can pretty much have a whole team with a million coins done in just one week of grinding everything, playing solo battles, playing weekend league, and getting all your free players. Obviously, once that's all done, now you got to just use those coins wisely and invest properly. That's what I did. I got the million coins last year that I get from starting the game and all the stuff you can get, and I slowly invested wisely to keep building that coin stack so I was never broke again. So I always kind of had the advantage of being able to just get what cards I wanted, obviously within moderation. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you did enjoy the channel... If you enjoy the channel if you did enjoy the video make sure to go down below and smack the sub button let's keep grinding out the 7k turn the noti bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video boys also like the video let's get this video to 250 or even 300 likes if you guys could do that i'd greatly appreciate that if you guys if this helped you at all it was informative and comment down below if i missed anything because if i missed anything that's even better because i gave you guys a lot of stuff there as it is that's about it for the video thank you so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace